If you are looking for something to do at home with your kids and that allows you more time freedom, I would love to have you sit down and chat about how to make money selling print-on-demand books on Amazon. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane. I've published over 503 books and have grossed $97,000 in book royalties by learning this process. My little kids, they're seven, eight, 14. My youngest two have been publishing with me for the past two years. They've made over $600 just on the side doing this. And so you might be wondering like, what is this thing? Why is it called print on demand? So print on demand is where you would upload content to Amazon and they only print it package it and ship it when it sells. And so if you've ever had an idea for a book and maybe you thought, oh, that's really expensive or I need someone else's permission, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing is perfect for you because you don't need anyone's permission. You can simply sign up for an account at kdp.amazon.com. And if you're kind of struggling on what you want to publish, then I have an invitation. I have a bundle that I can give you if you go to the link in the description. And it's four or five templates that helped me get started to really find those areas of things that were in demand on Amazon. You might be thinking like, you just said print on demand, but like, what is the demand you're talking about? If you go to Amazon and you type in words in the search bar, then any word that comes up is a keyword and that lets you know that that is something a customer is looking for. So for those of you that are like stay at home moms or your business owners and you're like, how do I do this thing from home? All you really need is a free Canva account and the internet with a computer. I've had some people try to do this on their phone. It's a little bit more difficult. You do have Canva apps and um, KDP is accessible online, but they don't have their own dedicated app. So once you sign up an account, you can actually start publishing once you upload your tax information. This is just to make sure that you're a real person and not a bot. And once you understand that you can do print on demand books, you'll start exploring more than composition notebooks or journals and planners. Now, for some of you that already have particular skill sets or interest, this is a really great thing for you to actually type into the window of Amazon search bar. Make sure that you're under the category of books on the drop down menu. There's so many different things that you can actually look up on Amazon and we want to make sure that we're in book category. So when you're inside of there, um, put your interest in there. I've had um, a doctor publish nutritional workbooks on Amazon and has made a thousand dollars. There's lots of different things. So just think about your interest because if you go and type that into the search bar and it comes up, there is nothing more exciting in my opinion to be able to see that this is something that you can do from home. This is something that you can get started with. And I always tell people to start with um, learning how to upload a book. After publishing 500 times, I recently helped a client. She's launching her book next week. She was like, how did you learn all these mistakes to skip over? How are you helping me step over all of these holes or problems on KDP? And I said, well, I've done it 503 times. So I have put in the reps time and time again, and we're almost crossing six figures in book royalty in under two years. And I've been watching some of those videos about what is a realistic income for a KDP beginner. And I don't know if those are, I just want you to think about like where you're at and what your skill set is. I think that a lot of people might think that they can't do something like this, but my kids are little. They're a testament sitting right next to me doing this. They're sharing ideas. We're looking those up in the search bar. We're using additional keyword research tools to be able to do that. And then the most important thing, we're trying to make high quality books, but it doesn't start there for everybody, right? High quality is going to be different for everybody and you have to learn how to self-publish in order to do so. You certainly could wait until you felt like you have the skill set, but why not? go for it and learn along the way. That's been my experience and I've always loved putting in the reps because of the things that I've learned. If you're new to this channel, I have over 685 videos about Kindle Direct Publishing, about mindset and about getting ahead by putting in the work. And when I say getting ahead, that's a personal journey, right? There's gonna be things that you're gonna overcome that no one else needs to and vice versa. So I don't think that competition exists. 
because there's too many variables. There's too many different people born at different times, born into different situations. Not even twins think the same thing, okay? So perception is a really big deal. So give yourself that credit when you're learning to self-publish and understand that you certainly can do this from home, from your laptop, and it simply is, you know, learning the step-by-step of doing so. Anytime that you want to open a KDP account, it is free if you go to kdp.amazon.com. And secondly, there's been a lot of people that end up loving the income and they even sell their book accounts. So I know four or five people that have sold their book accounts for over multiple six figures. So that's an opportunity too. Those were things I didn't know when I started. And so I started putting all of my low content books under my name as a personal brand. I didn't know what I was doing, right? So the 503 books that I've published have really taught me how to properly use a pen name that's not my own to build a brand. And if you go through my channel, you'll see I even have a playlist just for pen names because it literally is a secret sauce to me making or selling over multiple six figures is using pen name strategies, okay? I have gone through the rules with terms and conditions every six months on Amazon KDP to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Recently, I went to Fiverr to hire someone to help me do some coloring pages and when they delivered the pages, they were all Canva Pro elements. And so I messaged them and said, hey, the terms and conditions for Canva says that we cannot use Pro elements for print on demand sites. I go to KDP and I look up, Amazon does consider books print on demand. And so instead of communicating back, they canceled the order and gave me a refund. So when you are getting started, you need to make sure that you're reading the terms and conditions and that you understand them so you keep your account safe. That is why I also have tons of videos here on the channel about having account suspension and termination. I've had my account terminated and turned back on. I've had my account suspended twice and turned back on. There's been lots of different reasons for that. Some of them, one of them they said was accident, but it was still disheartening. And so I do my part to educate as many people as I can to keep your account safe. And that is the beauty of learning the skill set. When you learn the skill set, you don't have to hire out as much or you can, you can hire out when someone actually understands the KDP rules. Third party platforms like Creative Fabrica and Fiverr, you never know if the artist understands the agreement that you have made with Amazon when you click that box to sign up that you say you will own copyright. A lot of things that we go get out on the internet say we have commercial release, and that is not the same as copyright, okay? Commercial release is okay to use, but Amazon is asking us when we upload our book, do you own the copyright, okay? They have to follow those US laws because there's a lot of people out there that do not follow the laws and it hurts everybody else, right? So if you can keep your account safe, that is the best thing to do. So I just wanted to introduce myself to all the new subscribers that are here or for people that are lurking around, come on over, subscribe to this channel because you will always learn something new because I'm not just a YouTube content creator for KDP, I publish on KDP, okay? So when you're on the internet and you see some of the most viral videos about Amazon KDP and they show you how to upload a book and they've got one book in their account, that's great. But they're not spending day in and day out publishing. And so that is kind of my promise to you is that this is something I can't turn away from being able to make $11,000 in one month on my first January on Amazon KDP was a game changer. In the middle of that month, my account was suspended for having a pro element in it. And that was before Canva got really clear about commercial release or trademark or copyright for pro elements. Okay, so there's so many things that when you're learning online, that um, that's just why I share my story to help protect other people from having discouraging experiences. So a little bit about me to make sure that you're in the right place is if you want this to happen overnight, this is not a, probably a good channel for you to follow. So um, you can click like, but you might not want to stick around. If you're a business owner and you're like, I would love to repurpose content on Amazon, that's exactly why I got started on Amazon as an entrepreneur. I wanted another income stream. I wanted to establish authority. And when I wrote my first book, 
I had already been producing journals and planners, but when I wrote my first book, people started to treat me different. And I'm working on a second book. It's called The Death of the People Pleaser. It will be out in the next couple weeks, maybe months. I've spent so much time on it just to help people see that having proper boundaries really is the best way to run your life. So let me know what questions you have about starting on Amazon KDP and understanding how to make money with print-on-demand books. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.